Warning here tonight about two different invasive pests that are showing up in common household plants. One is a species of a fly that you see here on the right. Yeah, and the other is this one here, the worm, and they don't belong here. Right. Neither one of these. The Naz Nicole Greg explains one could leave you gravely ill, the other a trail of destruction in your yard. It's a perfect setting for Jane Morse. She's a plant expert, and she spends a lot of time working at the Florida Botanical Gardens in Largo. I like seeing the birds and the butterflies and the insects. But there's bees, one insect just found in Pinellas County she doesn't want to see. So we got to jump on it and make sure that they don't spread. She's talking about the Q biotype white fly. It turned up at a local landscape nursery. It's like the mosquito of plants, sucking them dry, killing them. This one has totally white wings. Also spotted in Florida this week, the dangerous New Guinea tapeworm. It was at the bottom of a flower pot down in Cape Coral. It can actually cause problems um, on your skin because it actually vomits up this, this caustic substance that can co cause problems. The worm looks harmless, but if it comes in contact with a rodent and then a person, it could give you a deadly disease affecting the brain and spinal cord. That's why you need to inspect any plants before taking them home. You want to make sure that you inspect it, turn the leaves over, look at the back side. Also check your soil for any strange pests. Well, if you see a bunch of weeds, again, that's another kind of a pest. As for the white fly, this won't just ruin your yard, but food crops too. And the biggest problem is the insect is resistant to pesticides, so that's why you need to look for any sign of them before taking home any plants so you don't spread them. For the now, I'm Nicole Gregg.